Hello everyone, I'm Rav here and I'm back with the another question of chapter number 10, S Block Elements, class 11, NCERT. In this video, I will be explaining you question number 24 and it's on page number 306. So, let's move on to the question and then towards its solution. The question is, explain the significance of sodium, potassium, magnesium and calcium in biological foods. Fine, so we need to explain the significance of all whom? Sodium, potassium, calcium and magnesium in the biological fluids. So let's get started with the biological importance of sodium and potassium and then further on with the calcium and magnesium. Fine. So biological importance of sodium and potassium. First of all, let's discuss the biological importance of sodium. <laughs> See, sodium ions, they are present in the blood plasma as well as they are also found in the interstitial fluids or into the cells, yeah, of the cells, fine. So, sodium ions are present in the blood plasma as well as in the interstitial fluids of the cell, yeah, within the cell, fine. Sodium ions helps in transmission of nerve signals, first significance, second, they help in what? Regulating the flow of water across the cell membrane. So, first significance of sodium ion is Sodium ion help in transmission of nerve signal. Second significance, they help in regulating the flow of water across the cell membrane. And third significance of sodium ions is, they help in transportation of what? Amino acids and sugar into the cells. Okay, yeah, so these are the three significance of the sodium ions. That means significance of sodium ions in the biological fluids. Coming to the potassium. See, potassium ion is in the highest density. Okay, yeah, so potassium ion is present in the highest quantity within the within the cell. Okay, yeah, so potassium ion pr are present in the highest quantity within the cell fluids. Fine, potassium ion helps in activation of many ex enzymes. Okay, so the first significance of potassium ion is it helps in activation of many enzymes. Second significance is they also help in they also help in what? Oxidizing of glucose to produce ATP which is adenosine triphosphate. That means they also participate in oxidation of glucose to produce adenosine triphosphate. And third significance of sodium ions, they are also helpful in transmission of nerve signals. Fine, so these are the three significance of potassium ion in the biological fluids. Now, so now have a look on the board for the biological importance of sodium and potassium. After calcium, sodium and potassium cations are most common in biological systems. A typical human being weighing about 70 kg contains about 90 grams of sodium, 170 grams of potassium, 5 grams of iron and 0.06 grams of copper. Although sodium ion and potassium ions have similar chemical properties but surprisingly their biological functions are quite different. Sodium ions are primarily found outside the cells in blood, in blood plasma and other interstitial fluids, potassium ions are present inside these cells. Sodium ion help in transmission of nerve signals, in regulating the flow of water across the cell membranes. Uh, it has come over here, so don't confuse mine. In regulating the flow of water across the cell membranes and in transport of sugar and amino acid into the cells. Potassium ion helps in activation of many enzymes which are responsible for oxidation of glucose to produce ATP which is adenosine triphosphate. So these were the biological importance of sodium and potassium. I hope these biological importance regarding sodium and potassium is clear to you all. Now we'll move on to the biological importance of calcium and magnesium. So now coming on to the biological importance of calcium and magnesium. See, first of all, I just want to tell you all this that ki magnesium and calcium are referred to as macro minerals. So this term, this term, macro minerals or term hai, indicate karte the higher abundance of these two, calcium and magnesium in the human body system. Fine. Now, coming to the biological importance of magnesium, magnesium helps in relaxing the nerves and the muscles. Fine. So magnesium helps in relaxing the nerves and the muscles. Second significance of magnesium is that magnesium helps in building 
and strengthening of the bones. Fine. Third importance or significance of magnesium is that that magnesium maintains the what normal blood circulation within the human body system. Fine. So magnesium maintains the normal blood circulation, your flow of blood circulation in the human body system. Coming on to the calcium, see importance of calcium is that ki calcium helps in coagulation of the blood. Second blood, hum, humare ko koi chod lag jati hai and uh, just blood uh, comes out from that, oozes out from that place. So kya ho hai ki it is the calcium which helps in the coagulation of the blood. Ab thode baad dekhte honge, achche se paani wale se dhoote honge ki aapka blood jo hai, wahan se ooze hona band ho jata hai. So it is because of the calcium. Calcium helps in coagulation of the blood. Fine, coagulation ka matlab kya hai? Stopping of the blood. To stop kar deta hai blood ko. Flow honne se ya ooze out honne se from that particular injured place. Fine, calcium helps in coagulation of the blood. And the second importance of calcium is that calcium also helps in maintaining the homeostasis. Chik hai? What is homeostasis? See, homeostasis ka ek matlab hai, things should be constant. That means a constant thing. So, if we relate to homeostasis to our body, so we can say that homeostasis uh, helps, uh, means, uh, what we say, that calcium jo hota hai, maintains the, it also helps in maintaining the homeostasis. That means it also helps in maintaining the parameters uh, of the body within the normal range values. ठीक है जो पैरामीटर्स है हमारी बॉडी की टेंपरेचर देखते हैं हमारा एक पैरामीटर बॉडी का व्हाट एवर द पैरामीटर व्हिच आर बिलोंगिंग टू आवर बॉडी कैल्शियम हेल्प्स इन मेंटेनिंग दैट सो दैट इन अ नटशेल आई कैन से कि कैल्शियम हेल्प्स इन मेंटेनिंग द होमियोस्टेसिस फाइन सो नाउ हैव अ लुक ऑन द बोर्ड फॉर द बायोलॉजिकल इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ कैल्शियम एंड मैग्नीशियम व्हिच आई हैव पुट ओवर इन डिटेल फॉर्म Fine. So, magnesium and calcium ions play an important role in biological processes. An adult body contains about 25 grams of magnesium and 1200 grams of calcium compared with only 5 grams of iron and 0.06 grams of copper. Magnesium ions, that means Mg2 positive ions are concentrated in the cells and the calcium 2 positive ions are concentrated in the blood body fluids outside the cell. Magnesium Ions, that means Mg2 positive ions catalyze a number of enzymatic reactions. Energy is stored in the form of phosphate linkages in ATP that means adenosine triphosphate. The formation of these linkages that is storage of energy is catalyzed by Mg2 positive ions. Fine. About 90% of the body have calcium presence in bones and teeth as appetite. Seeing 3 po 4 twice and the enamel on teeth as Fluoroapatite, which is thrice of CA3PO4 ka twice dot CAF2. CA2 positive ions are also important in blood clotting and required to trigger the contraction of muscles and to maintain the regular beating of the heart. Okay, now you can see that here is the same thing. Calcium also helps in maintaining the homeostasis. Homeostasis means a constant thing. A constant thing related to our body is the body parameters, the parameters of our body uh, within the normal range of the val uh, of the values of their values. So parameters mein temperature aa gaya, hamari regular heart beatings aa gayi, contraction of the muscles aa gayi. So in sab cheezo ko, in sab parameters ko hamara jo calcium hai, wo maintain karke rakhta hai. Or in a nutshell, we can say calcium also helps in maintaining the homeostasis. Fine. So I hope the biological importance regarding the calcium. Magnesium and before that I told you about the biological importance of sodium and potassium is almost clear to you all but still if you are having any doubts regarding the biological importances which I have told you in this question then please do write your doubts in the space given below. Well this brings me to the end of the session and it's me Aki saying you all goodbye.